In 1908, Hidalgo County officials moved with their records to the town then known as Chapin. Edinburgh was officially named in 1911 to honor an early valley pioneer from Edinburgh, Scotland. Edinburgh was family-oriented. Early town officials ensured children had access to education. In 1909, the first schoolhouse was built on the corner of 16th Avenue and Coon Street. Just four years later, a larger four-room brick building was erected. That building, the Stephen F. Austin School for Mexican Children, expanded in 1927 and an auditorium was added. A separate campus for white children existed, the Sam Houston Elementary School. For a time, these were the only two campuses in Edinburgh. Still a relatively new city, in the 1920s, officials recognized a need for post-secondary education. They founded Edinburgh Junior College in 1927 as part of the school district. As time passed, demand grew, and the institution transformed into today's University of Texas Pan American. Edinburgh eventually became known as Gateway City to the Valley because travelers on long trips from the north first arrived here. In early Edinburgh, agriculture was a major industry along with packing sheds and livestock ranching. Agriculture had ripple effects. Residents found employment as labor or with growers or cotton and grain operators. An extensive and fairly new system of irrigation canals helped the area become known as the Magic Valley. Citrus became a major product as well as fruits and vegetables. The Southern Pacific Railroad arrived in Edinburgh in 1927. Even in its early days, Edinburgh was also a healthcare hub in the Rio Grande Valley because of city leadership. The town built Grandview Hospital in 1927. The Hidalgo County Courthouse has had five incarnations in several locations. It moved to Edinburgh during a time when courthouse records were carried by ox cart. Local legend tells of a daring midnight move, but historical records show several practical reasons. Originally in Hidalgo, the Rio Grande began to encroach on the courthouse and the danger of flooding was frequent. Additionally, under Texas law, it was required that the courthouse be close to the geographic center of the county. In 1908, a tent in Edinburgh served as a courthouse until a third version, a frame building, was erected. A masonry courthouse was built in 1910, a dramatic moment in our history. The current courthouse was damaged by a homemade bomb six months after its dedication in 1954. Even yesterday, leaders envisioned Edinburgh would play a major role in the Rio Grande Valley.